Hello and welcome to this video which is all about taking the first steps to customise your avatar. Second Life has a very flexible if somewhat quirky system for customization, and it does allow you to be pretty much whatever you want to be. Using it is easy, understanding it not so much. So before we get into actually doing something I'd like to ask you to be patient and watch a little bit of Second Life history because you're going to need to know it if you want to get the hang of working with all the customization options open to you. And this is Ruth, back from the story and in full pixelated glory for you to see. Ruth was the original avatar. Okay, let's face it, you don't really care right now, do you? You just want to customise your own avatar and make it look like anything but her. However, what you need to understand is you will always be her, because under whatever customization you make to your avatar is Ruth. All avatars are based over her, so you need to understand what she's made of, so you can make sure she never pops out to destroy all your good work. For any avatar to work and res successfully in Second Life, you need to have certain component parts in your setup, even if they're not actually seen, because they are the basis for successful avatars, and they all stem from Ruth. Making sure you have them means you are less likely to remain as a cloud when you first log on, for example. Oh, you can often get away without them, but it's good practice, particularly if you ever decide to visit any other grid. Yes, there are, but we're focusing on Second Life. So let's take a look at Ruth. Ruth is so famous, you can still find her in your inventory. She's here in the library, under clothing and then more outfits. Each item in this folder is one of her component parts. What we need to do is to look at the items that are not clothes, for those are what make up the avatar. You'll see she has eyes, skin, hair, and a shape. To build your avatar you need one of each of these first. Look at the icons next to these items. The title of the item is not important. The icon is because they can be named all sorts of things, but as long as you have one of each of these items you're good to go. By the way, the hair item, which looks like a wig, is sometimes known as a hair base. Now let's start our new avatar. Yes. It's the bit you've been waiting for. To make sure that you can make mistakes and not worry, we're going to create a folder especially for this. First of all, let me show you a handy tip which will make any inventory organisation so much easier. Go to the little cog icon where my cursor is and click it. Then choose New Inventory Window, which is right at the top of the menu that comes up. Wait a second and you'll get a complete duplicate of your inventory. 
This allows you to easily drag and drop items to organise them. Left click the top of it and move it to the other side of your screen and then you can see everything clearly. We're going to create that folder now. I'm going to put it in body parts because that's the most logical place. Go to the second inventory you created and right click on the body parts folder. Choose new folder. Rename the folder base avatar or something else appropriate. If you lose the rename option that comes up when you create the folder, you can right click on the folder and choose rename. Now make sure you have your Ruth folder open. It's in library, more outfits, Ruth, remember? And we'll copy all the base items to the new folder you created. To do this, you right click on each one and choose copy. Then go to your new folder, right click on it and paste. This ensures you have copies you can mess with and not worry about losing anything. Copy the eyes, skin, hair and shape. When you're done, you can close the first inventory box down. We're just going to be working in the new folder. It's time to go and get some free items for you to mess around with and learn avatar creation. Please don't go and spend a lot of money at this stage in shops where you see things you really like. You see, there are many types of avatar in Second Life today, and you could easily spend money buying things that will not work for you until you know more. I'm going to visit a shop with free items that is pretty much a Second Life institution. Free Dove. I'll show you how to find it in World, but I'll use my normal avatar. I don't want to scare anyone by showing up as Ruth. Go to the magnifying glass on your bottom bar. If you don't have it, you'll know how to get it there by now, if you've watched my other videos. If you don't, you can go to content and then search. Type in free dove. The first on the list should be your choice. Click teleport to go there. The shop is going to be a lot to cope with at first. Before you do anything else, grab a landmark by going to World and Landmark This Place. Then you need to join the group to get free items, but it's free, so go ahead. They have several groups. Make sure you join the one that is simply called The Free Dove. When you join the group it will automatically activate and you'll see a sign above your head saying blessed by a dove. You can now shop to your heart's content and please do. Make sure you find a skin, some hair and some eyes as well as clothes. You may still end up getting things for the wrong avatars, but you can always go back. Everything I will be using is from Free Dove. You won't need a shape, because you're going to make one. Find somewhere where you can adjust your avatar. You will end up being naked, so make sure it's somewhere private. Now let's return to the folder you made. We'll start as Ruth. Yes, even the guys. Don't worry, we'll make you manly again. Right click the folder itself and choose Replace Current Outfit. You're now a naked Ruth. To make things easy, we're going to put your avatar on a post stand. These often come free from stores, but as you're using Firestorm you don't have to worry. There's one built into the viewer. Drag it down to your bottom bar as usual and click it.
your avatar will pose automatically. A small box appears and you'll see there is a drop down menu with several poses offered. The best one for our purposes is the T pose, so choose that. Now let's sort out those goodies that you got from Free Dove. They'll be in folders in your inventory, just below the trash folder. Some items may be loose in the folder. You won't need to do anything with those. I have at least one that will unpack for you from a HUD. With this item you can see when you add a cube to your avatar, a picture appears on your screen. If you click it, it offers you a package. Just accept it. A box may come up in the top right of your screen asking you to. Other items will be in boxes. You can tell if they're in a box, usually because the icon for them is a single cube in the folder, but this is not always the case. If you want to be sure which is which, try adding a cube to your avatar. If you get a box on you, then you know it needs unpacking. Please be aware that you will need to be in a place where you are allowed to res items in world in order to unpack. Let's unpack a box so you know how to. To unpack a box, first res it to the ground. To do this, you left click on the cube icon in your inventory and, holding down the mouse button, drag the cube to the ground in world. A box will appear. Right click the box and choose open. A dialog box will come up. Please give it a moment to fill with items. If it still says loading contents, you should wait. When the items are all showing in that box, choose Copy to Inventory. Give them a moment to do so. You can now pick up your box by right clicking on the box and choosing Take. The items in the box are now in your inventory in a folder under the Trash folder. They will probably appear just above or just below the folder which contained the box. First of all, make a new inventory box by clicking the cog icon and choosing New Inventory Window. This will make moving things back and forth easier. Now find a skin that you bought. Copy that skin to your base avatar folder. Right click on the skin and choose Where. Now right click on the Ruth skin and choose Delete. You may be wondering why we even put Ruth skin in there in the first place. The answer is that you would not have been able to res as Ruth without a skin. You have to start with some skin before you can change it. Well, I'll bet you that's already better. But her shape is terrible. I did say we would make a shape and we will. I'm going to be working on a female shape in the video, but guys, the process is very similar, and if you keep copies of your original shapes, you'll always be able to change until you get it just right. One tip I will give you. Don't go too mad on the lunchbox. It won't make you more attractive. Honest. Modern mesh clothing, of which you have probably got a bunch now, come in five standard sizes, although not all suppliers supply all, if you see what I mean. We'll start with one of the standard size shapes, which you can pick up for free from the link in the description. Make sure you keep copies of the originals and try copies on until you find one that's a good place to start. Once you've got a size you want to work with, you can wear that and delete the Ruth shape. Just be sure that you keep a copy of everything. We make mistakes and copies mean it doesn't matter. Now let's mess with her shape. So, here is the shape I chose. 
I'm going to alter everything a little from the face down. I won't show you every alteration, but I'll show you the basics, and then you can have a great deal of fun trying out the appearance settings until you're happy. Just remember, keep copies of everything. Now, to open the Appearance dialog box, you need to right-click on your avatar and choose Appearance, and then Edit Shape. The dialog box will open. At this point, guys, you should change the gender marker from female to male. At the top of the dialog box, you'll see there are tabs. We'll start with the body, which is highlighted by default. I want a shorter avatar, so I shall reduce the height. Watch what happens, especially to the rest of the body. I'll also remove a little body fat. If you want clothes to fit nicely, don't remove it all. I'm not going to touch the head size at all as I'm happy with it, but feel free to change things if you wish. I'm going to work on the eyes though. Eyes and lips need the most tweaking, as does the torso. I'll show you what I do with the eyes, and then I'm going to leave the rest to you. With the eyes, please do take note that making them too big is not pretty. Watch the changes I make and see how they affect the avatar. And this is my finished shape. Of course, we're not done yet. Now we need to save it. Please don't save from the top of the appearance dialog box. Go to the bottom and press save as and give the shape a new name. If you're happy, you can then keep wearing this shape and delete the one you had in the base avatar folder. Finally, I'll add the items I got from Free Dove so you can see the complete look. I'll list all the items I've used in the video notes, so if you want to copy the look, you can do so. Just go back to Free Dove and pick up the pieces. And let's compare Ruth to the finished avatar, shall we? Also starting from Ruth, here's the male avatar I created. So that brings us to the end of this mammoth video. Despite its length, I know that there will still be questions, the main one of which is probably, why are most of the outfits at Free Dove not suitable? Sadly, the answer is because the majority of avatars these days are mesh. Mesh means spending money. My next main tutorial will be on mesh bodies. Once you get the hang of them, they're far nicer, in some ways easier to use, and they look fantastic. So join me next time and bring your wallet, or window shop along. I'll see you then.